And all you're hearing is your own Hey, what's got going on, guys? This is Big Zell Plenty, and I'm here to talk to you about Django Unchained. And I saw the movie last night with a group of friends, and I must say, I was very, very pleasantly surprised. I enjoyed the film. I thought it was awesome. I thought that it was very well scripted. And I, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Kerry Washington, Leonardo DiCaprio, um, uh, Jane Fox himself, they were just wonderful in the movie, and I really enjoyed it. Um, it's a harsh movie, you know, such as any movie, any fictitious story about a historic, about a horrible time in history, it's gonna be harsh, you know, but it was still, it, it was still very, very well done. And I actually enjoy a lot of Quentin Tarantino's films. I really do. Um, but I'm not here. I'm not here just to talk about that, which is a shame. Because I would love to spend this whole video talking about Django Unchained. Well, actually, I couldn't because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. I suggest you guys go see it. But I don't want to spoil it for you just in case you are going to go see it. I wish I could sit here and talk about how well it was, um, and talk about. The, 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 the story and everything like that, but I can't, because I have to talk about Spike Lee and his motherfucking hating, okay? Spike Lee is getting on my last motherfucking nerves. Every time I hear his name on a blog, on the internet, in Twitter, or the news, he is slamming something and it is getting sickening, okay? Spike Lee, you were, and I do use that term were, not are, a very noted director and legend in this business. The movies that you made from She's Gotta Have It to Do the Right Thing to A Jungle Fever to Malcolm X to More Better Blues, He Got Game, you know, all these movies that you made, okay? And recently, you... You, all you've done is just slam people. That's all you're fucking doing nowadays. And I'm having a problem with that. I don't care what you guys say. And once again, I'll say this. I said the same thing when it came to that fucking Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey. And that's a whole nother situation and a whole nother video. But just because you're a legend in the goddamn game does not mean that you can come off and say anything that you want to say or say just be slamming people and being very disrespectful. Now, if any of you don't know what I'm talking about, Spike Lee talked about Django Unchained. He said slavery was not a spaghetti western and he feels that the whole thing is just a mockery to the um, black community and our ancestors who were a part of slavery. Now, I would not I almost would not have had a problem with that statement until he started going in about Quentin Tarantino saying that Quentin, he felt that Quentin Tarantino um, is a pseudo-racist and he gets off on saying the word nigger, the n-word, he gets off on having that said in most of his movies and he just has a problem with Quentin Tarantino. Now, that leads me to believe that you have a problem with Quentin Tarantino making this movie, which you said you did. You have a problem with him making this movie. Um, I have a problem with that. My problem with that, Spike Lee, is this. Why are you, or who the fuck are you, to sit there and tell somebody that they are not supposed to use that word in their movies? Because you're a black man? Is that, is that what it is? Because I'm, I'm, genuinely, I'm genuinely confused. You whose movies have used the word so many times, all your movies combined have used the word so many times um, in just regular dialogue. You who have somewhat exploited black people to a point of mockument. When I say mockument, like mockumentary, mocking them. 
Okay, you do black you you've done black exploitation films, Spike Lee. You have, and you've done it without reckless abandon. Okay, um, I mean you've done it with reckless abandon, and nobody said anything to you because you're just this noted black director, and it's supposed to be fine, but it's not. It really isn't. Okay, it's not fine for you to have done the same thing in the past and then jump on somebody else because they're white and they're doing it. But that's not my whole problem with you, Spike Lee. My problem with you is that lately, as I said earlier, all you've done is come for people. That's all you've done. You came for Oprah Winfrey. You came for Whoopi Goldberg. You came for uh, Halle Berry. And now you're talking shit about Tyler Perry. Um, you recently, in the past couple of years, you talked shit about Tyler Perry. You call him, you called his films buffoonery and coonery. Now, mind you, I don't disagree with you. Some of the things that you said, you had a very valid point. Tyler Perry's films, to me, have no substance to them. They're very dry. They're um, they're just very hapless, very dry. Just not no tact, no substance, no. Story, no very, very weighted and in depth in your soul story to them. And, but I will say this why are you coming for him, Queen? You sound like a fucking hater. Tom Perry has come, has gone up and up. He, this used to be a man who in his mid 30s was sleeping in his car and was fucking homeless. Okay? He was homeless. And he turned his homeless situation and his vision of his art, no matter how uninspired it may be, and turned it into a million dollar enterprise. And you have to support the brother for that. You should be supporting him instead of trash talking him and slamming him, Spike Lee. How dare you, as an African American man, talk shit about somebody the way you've been talking shit if you, if it really was constructive criticism, you should have went with, went to him and said, "This is what I think that you could be doing better." Or you could have said in your statement, "I support the brother. I'm not really into his films, but you know what? He's doing a wonderful thing. He's employing a lot of black people. He's another successful black man." But no, you decided to come to him any way you want to. And everybody tries to excuse everything Spike Lee says by saying, "Oh." Spike Lee is so real. Spike Lee is so real and he just lets them have it and he does not conform and he doesn't support people who... Blah, blah. No, you don't... I'm sorry. No matter how real you are, that doesn't excuse funkiness and stink-ass attitude. And the reason I say it seems like you're hating is because Tyler Perry is being very successful right now. Tyler Perry is making films that are box office hits, even though they're critical errors and they're flops critically, they make a lot of fucking money. He putting, he's putting African-American actors back on the map. And what have you been doing lately? Instead of using all that time and all that bravado to talk shit about other people, you really need to be making some damn movies. Seriously, what the, what, is, what the fuck is really going on, Spike Lee? What is going on? You want to talk coonery and buffoonery, bitch? Weren't you the same fucker that when the Trayvon Martin situation happened, didn't you, didn't you post online somebody or tweet somebody's address that you thought and said that's where George Zimmerman resided at, and everybody was sending death threats at home, and the family that really lived there was very scared and they were very tormented and you were wrong. It was wrong to have done, even if George Zimmerman, Zimmerman did live there, it would have been wrong to post that address anyway. But since he didn't live there, that made it even more wrong. That's some buffoonery and coonery, bitch. That's some nigger shit, okay? And I, I'm sorry. And yes, the word nigger was used a lot in Quentin Tarantino's film, but at the same time, I honestly felt like it would be okay if Spike Lee would have made it, then there would have been no problem. If Spike Lee would have made this film and anybody would have said anything bad about it, he would have said, oh, they're just being racist, they don't want to see the harsh truth of slavery, or anything. But, what, what, what about Steven Spielberg making The Color Purple? I know you've commented on that, but you still, it still doesn't make no sense. If 
Queen Tarantino can't make a fictitious action film about slavery, then why would Steve, why was it okay with Steven Spielberg for t to direct a uh, a film version of a novel dealing with a time post slavery? I don't get it. I don't. I just think this is a case of because I'm black, I can do this, and because you're not black, you can't. And that doesn't work, and that doesn't fly. Spike Lee, get back in the fucking studio or whatever the fuck you need to do. Write a good film and do that. I saw that Red Hook summer shit you did this past summer, and I did not like it. I did not care for it. I thought it was fucking... That was 750 that I will never get back. The twist... I'm not going to spoil it, just in case you guys want to see the Red Hook summer. The, spoil in the, the spoiler in the end, or the twist in the end, anyway... The twist in the end just came out of nowhere. It came out of fucking left field. And it just had nothing to do with the story. And I just felt like it just was not a good Spike Lee film. And I feel like that militant black shit that you used to do back then, it doesn't fly nowadays. It really doesn't. It's a new era. It's 2013. And it's time to look past that and to progress forward. And I don't feel like you're doing that. And instead, you're just pointing fingers at people and talking shit about people. And you really should be doing something progressive and supporting and positive. That's what you should be doing, Spike. Don't let me have to read you again, honey. You need to you need to get just make another film. Just stop being so fucking trifling and so fucking ratchet. Okay, Spike, thank you. And as I said, Django Unchained, it was a great movie. Yes, the word the N word was used a lot of the time. It's it is bloody. It is, you know, it's it's an R rated film. So but I suggest that before you take the words of other people who have problems with it, who didn't even see it themselves, I suggest you take the time out to look at it or take the time out to go see it. If you don't like it within the first 30 minutes, which by the way, I'll tell you that you will like it by the first 30 minutes. If you don't like it, you can leave the theater. Nobody's making you stay. But it, try it out first before you take somebody else's critique of something, okay? It was a wonderful film. Shout out to Jamie Foxx, Quentin Tarantino, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh my God, his performance was so good. Samuel L. Jackson was so good. Um, Kerry Washington, you know, shout out to all of them. It was a wonderful movie. Anyway, this is Big Zill 20, you guys. Peace. And all you're hearing is your own. And I'm gone and you're all alone. Can't you hear the